Wheel sizes, what is the best? Is there a best? Why are there so many options? What about two different wheel sizes? Mixed wheel sizes? And what has Mick got to do with anything? And where am I? Mixed wheel sizes, that's what I mean. Basically having two different wheel sizes. So it kind of seems like the industry maybe did sort of settle on 29ers, but actually nowadays it's getting easier to run two different sizes, 29er up front, 27.5 on the back. Why would you want to do that? I kind of feel like I've settled on 29 myself, but today I'm going to give them a try, both 29er and mixed wheel size, to see what I think. Yeah, it does kind of seem like the industry and riders have settled on 29ers for a lot of different bikes. No, that doesn't mean that you can't love your smaller wheels, your 26, whatever it is, and it doesn't mean that they can't be great and work for loads of stuff, but there are plenty of riders, myself included, that just like the planted feel, the grip, and the stability of the bigger wheels. And bikes above a certain level just aren't being made in 26 inch wheels anymore. And it kind of feels like a lot of the industry's sort of weight and the momentum is behind developing the 29ers and not the 27.5 but mixed wheel size the mullet 29 up front 27.5 on the back it's still quite rare but racers are experimenting with it and some bikes are making it really easy to try it yourself so i'm here for a day at bike park wales on my brand new orbea rallon you might have seen the video i did the other day on it um this is one of the new breed of bikes that makes it super simple to swap. So in the box, when you get your bear rail on, you get a spare linkage. So this setup is a 29er now, how I would normally run it to be fair, but I've got my spare linkage down in the van. All I do is swap that over and chuck a 27.5 wheel in the back, one that I've stolen from one of Blake's bikes, because I don't really have any 27.5 bikes at all anymore. So I can try that out. So I'm gonna ride some fun stuff here at Bike Park Wales. I've already ridden this bike a bit like, like this, 29er anyway, but why not go for a couple of runs? I wanna hit some jumps, I wanna hit some more techie stuff and then repeat it with a smaller back wheel to see how I feel, because I think I've kind of settled on 29er, but have I? Will I enjoy riding the 27.5 or mixed wheel bike more? Let's have a go. would you want the 29er all round? Well, the argument that you probably hear the most is that 29er is just faster. Yes, you arguably have a tiny bit more tire on the ground, so maybe a bit more grip, but I think that's negligible. But you do get a better rollover, so i.e. the angle that the wheel hits the ground is less, so it just rolls over, little bumps easier. I do think that is noticeable, to be fair. Uh, but not all racers actually agree that they are faster. I know plenty of racers have tested mixed wheel sizes and actually just having that smaller wheel does make the bike slightly more agile, easier to throw around and get to the back of the bike. But what if being faster doesn't bother you? Also, there's a bit of a practicality side to this. You've got the same size tires and rims. So if you need to swap or repair or have spares, then it's the same size front and rear. Conditions are a bit minging here, White Park Wales, although trails are running sweet, so no issues there. Uh, new or better Rallon is 160mm bike, 170 fork. 
That was a full 29er, so that felt really good. Like, proper good fun, actually, throwing the bike around the air a bit. My last bit of trail was horrible, it was gnarly. But it's kind of flat and those little rocks you hook up on, so that's where I think 29 would be good. But I'm kind of feeling like that was great. Why would you want to swap to a smaller back wheel? But let's have a go. There you go, there's a linkage. So I think all I need, not done before actually, uh, so an 8mm Allen key and then like a 6 take it off the bottom of the shock and a 275 wheel I stole from Blake's Giga to go in the back let's get to it There you go, mini wheel. Actually looks quite a lot smaller. Uh, mixed wheel size, what do we think? Why might you want a mixed wheel size bike? Well, you might fancy that stability in the rollover of the front tire, having that 29 at the front. Having the small wheel on the back does give you a bit more space. I sometimes feel like I'm kind of on the limit of the height of being able to ride a 29er aggressively. Uh, I'm five foot 10, so it's about 177 centimeters, I believe. On a 29er, I do sort of drag my ass in the rear tire a bit if I'm trying to really move the bike around ride aggressively. Now, I know there are loads of short, shorter riders than me that ride 29er bikes, and you kind of, they, you do get used to it, I get used to it as well, but I sometimes kind of forget, and you know, if I'm like trying to squash over a brow or something, I'll stick my bum into that rear tire, and that's not the best. So definitely for shorter riders, it gives you that bit more space. And it is quite noticeable. I know it's not a huge amount, but actually if you look at where my rear tire is now compared to like that sort of cup in the chain stay, you can see there's a load more clearance there that also equates to more clearance up here. So definitely for shorter riders and for people that really like to move around on the bike, ride down on stuff, ride aggressively, hit jumps. It isn't just a case of swapping out your 29er rear wheel for a 27.5 on your normal bike. If you do that without changing anything else, then it's going to drop the BB, uh, slacken the bike out, and you're just not going to get the sort of desired geometry. So this new all-bear rally makes it super easy to just swap that linkage that comes with the bike. There are other ways of doing this. I know there's plenty of new bikes coming out now that give you the option for swapping wheel sizes. You probably want to check that it gives you the option of mixed wheel size, not just swapping all round from 29 to 27.5 but like I say it keeps everything pretty similar geometry is almost exactly the same now as it was before and I've just ridden basically to the uplift and it feels exactly the same at the moment so I'm interested to see what it feels like first on the jumps and then as I get into the rougher more techy stuff It's kind of hard to describe because it, it's not like your bike is sort of handling in two halves. Like the front was doing one thing, the back was doing something else. But just putting a small about wheel on now feels like I can anchor the bike quicker, stop it quicker, throw it around quicker. But it still feels like one really nice planted bike where the grip's the same on front end. Because I am quite sensitive to like front wheel grip. I find that when I'm pushing hard, if I start sliding on the front tire, that, that sort of ruins the bike for me. I want a bike to feel like it starts to drift at the same time, and it does feel like that, even though I've swapped the wheels out. It's weird, or well, the wheel out, but it feels great. But it's time to hit a few more jumps and see what it's like in the air.
so the mixed wheel size does feel really good. I actually really enjoyed that. I think for some of my whips, they weren't actually as good, but it just felt easier to get, you know, once you've got the bike sideways in the air, it feels that much easier to get it back. But I guess it's kind of swings and roundabouts. What you gain somewhere, you might lose somewhere else. Bottom of that trail is super sort of nagery rocks, slippy, loads of horrible little holes to hit. And it doesn't feel as good actually as a 29er. On the back, it does feel like you're hitting the holes. But it's kind of those holes like braking bumps as well, where I'm not that stoked about riding them anyway. So it makes the horrible little holes better, but I don't really want to ride in those bits anyway. The rest of the trail feels good. Anyway, I'm going to go and do some times on both just because I think I ride differently. If I'm trying to put a really good time in, I'll ride the bike hard. I'll see what the times are as well. I kind of don't care as much. I just want to see how the bike feels when I'm trying to put a fast ride in. The track starts off in a jumpy section for then heading into some more technical and sometimes steep terrain. First on the 29er and it feels good. It's normal for me these days. Now to the smaller back wheel, and you know what? I can't really tell the difference. Until it comes to breaking hard into a tight corner. I can really feel the difference in space at the back of the bike, and it feels like I can ride it more aggressively when it gets more technical. But the times? Well, I surprised myself and was almost two seconds quicker on the smaller back wheel. Not a huge amount granted, but for me, it tallies up with what I felt. I can ride the bike harder when I need to get back on the bike, and it really didn't feel any slower when I needed the rolling speed. On the jumps as well, it feels good to have a bit more space to move the bike around in the air. So, I get times and feelings aside, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna leave it mixed wheel, or am I gonna stick the linkage back on, stick the old back wheel in? Well, actually, I think I'm gonna stick to mixed wheel. It just felt really good, it's really good fun, so I'm gonna stick with it. Uh, and I don't really care, I'm not racing the bike. Yeah, I still like to try and ride fast, but I'm not putting it against the clock. So even if it was fast or slow, I'm not as bothered. It just feels really good. Thing is, what I need to do is order another back wheel because I need to get an oil slicks bank hub on the back as well to make it look good. Because having two different wheels is not the look, but yeah, loving it. Let me know what you think about mixed wheels. If you're gonna try them yourself, if your bike lets you do it, I know loads of the new bikes do, so try it out. Uh, let me know what you think about it as well, what it looks like in the comments down below. I think it looks kind of cool. The kind of moto, the little back wheel, bigger front. Give a thumbs up if you like messing around with bikes.